Hi. Hi. Frank. Your album Danger Days, the true leaves of the Fable of Skill Joyce, is having a great success among public and the specialist uh, magazines. Do you expect that success? I don't know. I mean, you know, it's it's weird. I think, for, at least for for us and the band, you know, the success uh, is is making the record that you're you're really proud of, and uh, and playing shows and and having kids, you know, really enjoy it and stuff like that. I mean, so as far as far as that. Explaining that success, I think it was just, uh, you know, writing music that was, you know, came from from inside. We were being true to ourselves, true to the band, and uh, and really risking, you know, everything to to make uh, an artistic record that we wanted to make, you know. But as far as um, like commercial successes, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you think this album contributes to rock and roll or rock music in general? Um, I think it contributes to rock and roll because it's a pure rock and roll album is in that it, it doesn't sound like uh, what rock and roll currently sounds like. It It's free, it's rebellious in its sound. Um, there's songs on it you could dance to, which is not, you know, something going on in rock and roll right now. Um, I think rock and roll, for the most part, you know, has become kind of very stale. And I think it contributes by just being different, you know, uh, and being challenging. We don't know what happened to them. Oh, no, no, they're on they're the bus. On the bus. Yeah. They're on the bus. Yeah, they're on the bus right now. Yeah. But as far as their final resting place, they'll probably. There's one in my garage, yeah. an old one. He's got one. We, we spread them out. Yeah, we're going to spread these out. Do you like to play in our country? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, man, I love. Uh, you're talking about Spain, right? Yeah, I love Spain. And. Uh, I love it. I love it because it's so much of a city that's based around art and the architecture. And everywhere you go, like the benches are art. Like, um, you know, people really enjoy that kind of thing here, and they're very easygoing and they're very nice, and like they just enjoy life. So any place like that is really fun to go to. How is the Spanish public? Oh, I mean, our experiences with them have been amazing. Every single, you know, I, I'll never forget the show in Balboa. Where we played a festival. And we went on it about about one in the morning and it was like one of the greatest shows it was such a had such a party atmosphere how do you feel taking part in the valencia mtv winter 2011 feel great about taking part in that yeah absolutely i mean this is our first time playing this city and uh you know to have it be such a, a huge show and and you know i mean the place that we're playing is beautiful yeah, you know it's it's insane i've only seen it in pictures but to actually be there today i can't wait i can't wait to play do you think the spectacular scenery, the big stage, and large screen would make people get even more involved in your performance? More involved in the performance? Um, I think so. I mean, that, you know, when we were just in the UK, we had large screens, so that way people could really see what was going on because it was less, you know, there's no set pieces, there's no uh, theatrics, so it's just the band performing uh, with, with really amazing lighting. So it was important for us to have video screens so people could see us up close and see what we were doing and our expressions and everything. So I think it'll it'll make it a bit more engaging. Okay. This album uh, has just been released, but are you working in new ideas for your next work? Yeah. We always are. Yeah, always, you know. That's the thing is a any experience that you have and uh, people that you meet or things that you see or hear um, ends up inspiring you in some way. So, uh, and and that's one of the greatest things about being in a band is that you can constantly stay creative, you know. So, uh, we haven't actually sat down and, and you know, started to write, like, multiple, mul a multitude of songs, but uh, there's ideas that are popping up every day. What are your next plans? Next plans, let's see. Well, um, <clears throat> we go home about, in about a week and a half, have a short break, um, go on a tour of America, um, and then um, come back possibly for festivals. And then maybe back to America. So we're out for the rest of the year. <laughs>